Hi everyone, Jessica here. We've got another boost converter demo for you today, except this time we're going to be operating in discontinuous conduction mode. So for our setup, we've got a voltage source, we've got an oscilloscope to see some waveforms, and we've got our boost converter. Now the boost converter has an inductor between its input voltage and its switch and diode pair that eventually feed a resistive load. We've got a capacitor supporting the voltage for that resistive load. To see some waveforms, we've got a voltage probe here on our input voltage. We're going to add another probe for our switch node voltage. That's the node between our switch and diode. We're also going to add a probe to our output voltage. Then we're also going to add a current probe for our inductor current. All right, so to get started, we're going to ramp up our input voltage. And you'll see as we get close to 12 volts, our control circuitry will be powered on, and we'll start to see some switching. All right, so right away there, we see some switching. Now this yellow waveform is our input voltage, the purple waveform is our output voltage, the blue waveform is our switch node voltage, and as you can see right now, we're at a pretty low duty cycle. That switch is only on for a small fraction of the total period. And then we take a look down here, green is our inductor current. Now as you can see, for part of the cycle, when the switch is on, that inductor current rises. Then when the diode is on, that inductor current falls, and then it sits at zero for the remainder of the cycle. This is the discontinuous conduction mode we've been talking about. Um, now you can also see that when that inductor current is zero, we get quite a bit of ringing in that switch node voltage. And that's just due to parasitic inductances and capacitances exchanging energy in the circuit. We're going to change the duty cycle a little bit with the potentiometer we've got here see what happens. You can see as we change that duty cycle and increase it, our output voltage starts to rise. So output voltage went up, and so did then the peak inductor current. So that inductor ramps up current for the whole entire time that the switch is on. When the switch is off, it falls, and we still get this continuous conduction mode like we had before. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much.